Welcome back. In today's video, I am going to show you the upgraded version of our invoice management web app. In this web app, we have two kind of user roles, the admin user role and the user role. Okay, the admin can see all the data and can manage all the data. User can only perform his own activity. So now you can able to see here uh, in our generate invoice section, we can able to generate our invoices. Uh, in our previous video, we have the old version. Uh, you can also check on that. And if you don't subscribe, right, our channel, click on the subscribe button and press the bell icon. Okay. So now let's break down all the new features which we have added in this web app. First of all, we have added a manage customer sections in this section. So you can see here we have a customer's data in our database. So now you can see here we have only one uh, customers. So if I want to add a customer, for example, I want to add a customer. I just enter customer 2002. OK, so I just give him a name. Uh, I just give him a name of the Ali and uh, I will just enter their email Kipsian community at the red gmail.com and also I am just giving him the address is USA and uh, the country is also I select the USA and when I am going to click on this save so now you can see the customer data is saved successfully we are going to in our database in our generate invoice so now you can see here the customer data comes here we just copy this id so now you can see here that here's the demo data and also here's the demo data so when you uh, just uh, click on this search icon with your customer id you just copy this customer id and paste it here and you just need to paste it here and click on this search icon so your data will be fetched out successfully also if you will search the another id and click on this search icon so now you can see here the data is successfully updated here so i am going to make a invoice our of our new customer customer 202 so first of all we need to check if i have a customer 202 data already i just delete this row delete row so uh, no confusions occur between our invoices and here's also i will delete this row and now okay now all set so now we are going to uh, so you can see here in our drop down i have a three products right now so for addition for adding the products you just need to uh, you just need to go your manage product section and here you will see all the products the uh, with different colors of their quantitative stock wise and if you want to click on this add product you just simply just give him a item I just enter the google app script and uh, unit cost is uh, 50 and uh, quantity is 100,000 uh, and tax is 2% and when I am going to click on this save icon so now you can see here our product is successfully added and uh, here we will see when I click on this add item so Google app script is successfully here here the quantity is successfully fetched and the price if you want to change your unit cost for some customers on the main time so you can also change them from here so if i want to change the tax price is six percent so now you can see here it affect here so i am just setting it the two and here you will see here the total will become the 403.92 and if you want to add a invoice tax you can add 18 percent government tax and if you want to give him a discount you can add simply discount so here if a customer is paid via cash you can simply select on this cash if you will receive a bank transfer so you can also take select the options from here if you will receive the uh, bank transfer i just select the bank name and how much he paid you a uh, total bill is about 406.92 dollars for example it will pay uh, a 106 point 92 usdt via our bank so the transaction id we will be enter our here and click on this save icon when i am going to click on this save icon so now you can see here our invoice is successfully generated we are going to our sections of generated invoices so now here you can see here our customer do However, the invoice number is this and when I click on this view, so now you can see here all the data is fetched out successfully and if I want to take a print of this invoice, so I can easily take a print of my invoice and if I want to send it, I simply need our email where I need to send Kipsian community 
at gmail.com so i just need to click on this ok button and when i am uh, check my email so now you can see here the in invoice is sent to the gmail so now if we uh, if we are going to receive so you can see here the invoice is successfully received in pdf form in our email so your customer can also able to see your invoice here so if you want to uh, download so simply so you, you you just simply click on this pdf icon so your invoice is successfully to be printed my english is not well i am just trying to make my videos in english language so if you want to view a ledger for this customer so you, so you uh, just simply click on this view ledger so now you can see here the ledger of your customer of your customer too and when you click on this apply filter so now you can able to see this customer has total invoice for 06.92 usdt and the total credit amount is 106.92 the total debit amount is this and the balance is remaining your balance is 300 usdt and also if this customer have much more data for example I am going to show you this example what I mean to say so if your customer for example have much more data you can also apply the date range filter for example I want to check the 8 date to 14 date I just simply click on this apply filter so you can see here no data is here I have a data till 15 I simply click on this 15 so now you can see here I have a data of my date range filtration so also you can uh, take a copy of your data you can download the csv file you can download the excel file so you can also download the pdf file so your pdf file also you can take a print of your data okay so here's uh, the option and uh, ledger you can also this is a ledger transactions of your invoices so if you want to see all the customers the combined total invoices price is this and the total credit is this and the total debit is this and the total balance which you will get from your customer is this okay so here you also see the managed product managed customers are now we will see the managed users so now here you can see here we have a two users right now and if you want to add a new user so you just simply click on uh, you just simply click on here add a new and uh, simply enter the email id i will just uh, differentiate it and uh, just paste it here and uh, allow and uh, user and click on this save when i'm going to click on this save so now you can see here the data is successfully generated here it will not comes until you refresh the web app okay so if you want to change password so you just simply enter your old password and new password your password is successfully be changed i am going to change so now in my login sheet you have see i have a this password so if i want to update with password with something new i just add with five and click on this change so now you can see here the password is successfully changed here i just select the old one okay so this is our admin side so uh, now if we are going to our uh now if we are going to our the user side we just need to uh, uh, go to our login page and here we just need to enter our username and i just click on this here and uh, also just copy it here and uh, paste it here and click on this login so now you can see here loading please wait your data is successfully hung so this is our user dashboard in our user dashboard if we have search our customers data we just simply click on this search so now you can see here the customer is successfully found and if we are click on this generate uh, uh, the user can only generate invoices and generate invoices user can only generate invoices okay so it uh, here you are uh, the invoice number is automatically comes you can also select the date from here and the same things remaining and if the payment is received the same thing and if you want to see the view ledger so you can also see the ledger entries for this customer i have no ledger right time if we add generate our invoices for this customer so definitely we have a ledger for this hope you like this video and like this updation of our web application please subscribe and press the bell icon so we are going to make new and amazing content for you regular days so take care meet you in our next video with a very very unique content your subscribe matters and your comment is really really helpful is really really appreciated for me so please do a comment